Hello everybody and welcome on into baseball. Welcome back to baseball. Right here on youtube.com slash Rex. I think every time I say welcome back, I turn to the left. Because that's like, oh, okay. Pretty sure I started the recording. Recording is going. How's it going? Uh, welcome on in. We are playing the MLB right here in MLB The Show. The Mariners 2022 season every single day, 7 p.m. Pacific time. Make sure you so scroll down, subscribe, ring that bell. Blah, 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 blah. We're on game number 87 of the Mariners season. We got a two-game series against the San Diego Padres starting today. Logan Gilbert will not be the starter for the Mariners. He pitched well, uh, but pitched, I think, five or six innings yesterday. And then Joe Musgrove, he should be the starter for the Padres. I'm not exactly sure who's going to start for the Mariners, but uh, this should be an interesting and a good series. We have... Uh, we had a weird pitching situation. Um, Robbie Ray was injured. He, like, broke a nail or something. Um, so he's out for a few days. And then Logan Gilbert came in. So that messed up the rotation because we had already used the bullpen quite a bit in that uh, athletic series, the four games, or the, the previous three games. And I didn't want to get it too, um, too much more beat up. And so what I should have thought about was maybe maybe throw Robbie Ray four innings and then throw the next starter four innings as well, or, you know, at least try to save the bullpen a little bit, use the day off that we have after this series against San Diego to get things going. I was going to finish that thought in the previous game, but I didn't because I forgot. And then I opened baseball cards because we won. And now I finished it in this video. So congratulations. If you're watching all day, every day, all game, every day, you got the full thought. We are four and a half games ahead of the Astros. The Angels are six and a half back. The Rangers and Athletics are running out of time quickly to get uh, to do anything interesting. This was a pretty cluttered division, but it is not anymore. We'll have this game, tomorrow's game uh, against San Diego, and then we'll have a day off. An interesting uh, schedule here. A day off, a four game set at home against Toronto. A day off, and then we'll be in Washington and Texas before the all-star break and we'll see a bunch of texas teams uh we'll see teams from texas for what is that four seven ten fourteen games in a row my goodness so get ready for a lot of texas a lot of houston and i that's the last time we see houston wild that is really wild anyway let's jump into today's game play full game uh, okay, we're going with that new era stars and stripes with the road grays. That's fine. Petco Park. We are going to be using Marco Gonzalez, left-handed pitcher today. I could probably use Gilbert, but I don't really want to. So I'm not going to. We'll do that. Facing a right-handed pitcher with Toro. I kind of burned... Toro's usage yesterday. Um, probably should have had him sit out, but that's nah, fine. Brian O'Keefe is going to come on in here. We're switching righty for righty, so it doesn't really matter. Um, hopefully these other guys can stick around all day. I wonder if Dylan Moore is what? Dylan Moore is a second baseman. I might have to put Evan White in and then flip that. No, that's what I want to do. And then I want to do that with this. Can Because Evan White can't play that. Yeah, that's fine. Get Toro a DH spot. And now we start kind of tinkering with where I want things. Ty France. Actually, Ty France might end up sliding into that five spot. Because of Adam Frazier and JP Crawford leading off this uh leading off this game. We do have a triple righty right in a row. So maybe that's a spot where we can do that actually. Kind of break that up a little bit. Oh, we end up with a triple righty again. Ooh. Mm -mm -mm. Well, is there anyone is there a right-handed person Worth putting up at the top? Not really. Evan White, I mean, he's a 67 speed, and then I could flip him with 
France. That still ends up with a bunch of righties in a row. I think that'll work. I think that'll work. It's a weird lineup. Fraley in the five spot. Toro at six. Ty France at seven. O'Keefe? Hmm. From Petco Park in downtown City. Maybe depending on Logan Gilbert's energy, maybe we'll use him in game two of this series. We are 14 games over 500. That is pretty wild. San Diego Padres. Just about ready to go. Joe Musgrove, 17, starts with a 6-7 and seven record. Even three on the ERA. 102 innings, 94 hits. A whip of 1.21, 29 walks, 73 strikeouts. Ooh, a slider in for a strike. So we're underway so we'll do that. Day made for and that. The of July. First pitch. That's why they. That's why we celebrate Fourth of July, baseball. All right, slider at 86, curveball at 84, four seam at 95, cutter at 92, sinker at a miles per hour that I did not There's read. Well, I didn't like those first two pitches down an 0-2 hole. He's going to have a 95. He gets a mistake. One guy that was really great once the count got to two strikes, Miguel Cabrera. The 1-2. Fought off Ooh. foul. 38 saves for Cole Solcer. Next pitch misses way outside. Two two down. That smash short center. Oh dang! Right to him. That's okay though. That's all right. Took an 0-2 count and drove that to a seven pitch at bat. Took a couple of balls there, so not that uh, not that big of a deal. JP Crawford. JP Crawford, yesterday's hero. We're gonna see a lot of stuff low in the zone. Could prove to be a problem. We're probably gonna need some good pitching and defense, much like we had yesterday. Kind of just keep us in the game. Problem is, the San Diego lineup is a lot more dangerous than the Oakland lineup. Not to, you know, take a shit on the athletics or anything, but they don't have a Fernando Tatis Jr. Bounce to the right side. And he takes it himself for the out. That is third. This is Kyle Lewis. In there, and it's 0 1. Next one misses at 1 and 1. And strike two. No score just getting started top of the first. Oh, that's a slider. That's a miss. Still early on it. One, two now. Swing and a miss. Purple gave me a lot of trouble yesterday. It's really slow. That's always the thing that I worry about is the speed differentials between the primary pitches or the fast pitches on speed. I guess I don't know if that's the correct term, but either way, that and then like an 80 mile an hour curveball. 17 starts with a seven and three record for Marco Gonzalez, who was on the mound today. 109 innings pitched with 127 hits, factoring in two walks, that's a 1.18 on the whip, 46 strikeouts. 
Now it's the second baseman, Jake Cronenworth. Cronenworth comes into this one with the seventh best batting average in the NL. The second baseman, Jake. The pitch. In for a strike. strike. We are getting near the tippy top of that Legend Plus difficulty. Ground ball to the right side. He takes it on his own. And a quick out number one. Batting second. I love the Western Metal Supply Co. building there in the uh, in the outfield. San Diego, Robbie Podorski. Lifted in the air, right field. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And there's two down. Batting third. Not shortstop. The batter will be Fernando Tatis Jr. Had the day off yesterday. That's out to center field. Lewis. Now, I think surprisingly pitch. easy first inning, or worry-free first inning. Maybe we shouldn't say easy, but okay. Didn't expect it to go quite that smoothly, but here we are. Now batting Mitch Hanniger. Hanniger having a huge season. Comes into the day leading the league in two of the three triple crown Mitch categories. Hanniger. Musgrove back to work. There's a strike. Ooh. Next offering is outside. Clearly didn't come out of his hand the right way. Left that curveball way up. Next offering is in for a strike. Oh, shit. I forgot that first pitch was a strike. Don't know that I would have been able to do a whole lot with it, but... Swing oh, miss. my Not God. Nola up with it. I mean, just perfect, perfect combination of pitchers. We had to deal with Manaya all day yesterday. That sucks. We have another devastating curveball here. belted. That ball's carrying. Pulls it in on the warning track. That's just a really nice catch on the run right there. He saved extra bases for sure. Probably needs a second to catch his breath. If the pitcher's his friend, he'll give him a second to catch his breath before he's ready to deal the next pitch. Center field. Podorski ranging back. Damn it. On that one. Damn it. And that's the third out. Mariners are down in order. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. Will Myers now. Leading up for the Padres. The right the pitch. Will. Yeah. That's in there. Myers. Strike one. Circle change is in. Right there for him. He's going to have to do that consistently if he's going to give any length to his That's a nice cutter right Luke, there. Our man, Daryl Parker, DP. At home plate for this one. Pretty average size strike zone, but the book on him is that it sort of moves around. You can't always count on how he's going to call it from game to game. The pitch. The punch out there. Got him. Away. Pretty sure he saw as many pitches in that at bat as the entirety of the top of the first saw. Four to four. In the air, left field, Fraley in position and puts the squeeze on that one. Two down. Fell off to a great start. He's really cruising out there on the mound. He's got that a chance good. to get through these first two Look innings with under 20 oh, pitches. Man. That could set him up to go deep into this game. Austin Nola takes a strike. There we go. Sinker in. Hey, look at that. Acquired from Seattle in 2020. Next pitch is in the dirt. Ball one. Swing and a ball hammered left field. And that one hops the wall. And he starts his afternoon off right with a double. 
Got a good pitch to drive, stayed short with his bat path to the ball and caught it out front, and he stayed long in his follow through. That's how you split the gap, and that's pretty much a double every time. Runner in scoring position now, and a good opportunity to push across the first run of the ball game. Next offering is in for a strike. Next one is off the plate. Two balls and a strike. Well, they're looking to get on the board first here after that clutch two-out double made this inning interesting. Two-two now. Bounced up the middle. In plenty of okay. Time. First, so we give up the double, but uh, with two outs, it makes it a lot less stressful to try and get out of that jam, air quote. Here in San Diego, top half of the third inning, and now for Seattle, for Ty the France. The third baseman, Ty France. Musgrove back to work. That catches the zone for a strike. That's strike one. The fastball at the bottom of the zone can be very effective. Just got to keep it on the corners. Next pitch off the play. One and one. Next one is off the play, and it's two and one. Pretty easy to give up on that pitch right there. Started on the edge of the plate with the spin. You know it's going to finish well off the plate. Uh, Dom T. Williams was a, a bat I should be using here. This one in the air right field. Myers has a beat on it. Makes it's a four-seam fastball way up in the zone there. Here is Ryan O'Keefe. Oh, Up towards right uh, center field. Stuff is just sailing on me. Getting under everything. Here's Adam Frazier. Hitless yesterday Adam. as they only pushed across Frazier. one run. So that's all we needed. One. The lone one nothing the game. No We've seen two one nothing games this season we lost to Minnesota by one we won against Oakland by one next one misses and it's two and one right into the plate Foul ball, he stays alive. Well, the hitter's got his timing down for the breaking ball. If you're a pitcher, if you can get that fastball in on the hand, it's going to be very difficult for that hitter to get the barrel to it. Ooh, just barely got the slider. That was a walk, though. That was a walk, though. Jesus fucking Christ. The two pitches that I swung at and then the one that I didn't. Are you kidding me? We are off to such a bad start. The last two games have been multiple innings of those like 30 XP, which I think there's a double XP weekend going on here. And it's kind of just like, oh, so we're getting... You're getting the like, all right, that's it. Here's your piddly 15 XP for just showing up. Now 
Oh, this come is on. Dirt. Come on. Laying off those pitches down in the zone to even the count up at two and two. Such a better feeling for the There hit. we go. And a swing and a miss down on strikes. Two away. I always think that it's the Buffalo Wild Wings logo on their uh, on their sleeve. And that one hammered way back there. And forget it. A good hitter gets pitch recognition early. He saw Yeah, that one was really bad. 44 power too. Not get over anxious and come out of your swing. He stayed on it and got all of it. Podorski stands in now and watches strike one. The pitch. Up the middle. Fires to first on the run. And that ends the inning. Damn it. The Padres get one. Of Jake Cronenworth gets one runs. on the solo it's shot. Down. Really bad 12-6 curve right there. Just fucking right, right over the heart of the plate. That'll uh... Back here at Petco Park, John Chomby with Chris Singleton and we set to lead off the fourth, Evan the White. Baseman, number 12, Evan White. The wind of the pitch. Out towards left center, Podorski. He's throwing these curveballs. We're get, I'm getting a slightly better timing on it. They're also not dropping as much as they were in the first, uh, like, inning. And up next for Seattle, the J.P. Crawford. There we go. That wasn't even the pitch I was looking for. Man at first with one gone. And stepping in for the Mariners, Kyle Lewis. In the first That's outside with a slider. And the righty deals. Now it's even up. Generally, second, third time through the lineup, you want to be able to lean on those secondary pitches and command them. Looks like he's doing a nice job of it. And now two balls and a strike. Crawford stands at first with one out. The other way, and there's a hit. They get it in quickly. So first and second, now one out. Showed some really nice patience in that at bat. Worked himself into a good count. Just a cookie down the middle. I mean, those are the ones you dream about. Ones in the cage, you're just hoping you get in the ball game. Right down the middle, not a whole lot of velocity. Right on top of it. Now a huge at bat in this game coming up. Hanniger in the box for the second time. One ball, no strikes. In the air, left side. And that'll get down for a hit. Tie game. The run comes in from second. We're tied at one. Doing a much better job here, trying to meet him where he wants to throw it. Didn't do what that well against uh, Manaya yesterday. Trying to launch and hit home runs, but sometimes you got to shorten up just like that. Now the left fielder, Jake Fraley. Oh, way too early. Right hander kicks deals. He's oh, man. To get a double play and out of this jam. Kicks and deals. And it's fouled away. Lucky to get something on that curveball. Cheating way low. Two on, one out. Hard hit to right center. Drops in for a hit. Couldn't run it down. And they hold the runner at third, but the bases are loaded now with one out. Well, he wasn't afraid to hit with two strikes. I think he choked up a little bit, maybe spread out, but he got the job done right there. Now it's the DH, Abraham Toro. Ripped on a line. Brings it in. Uh-oh. 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 Why did that put both of them? Oh, no. I, I thought when I hit LB that it would just send the, the runner from third. I didn't realize it was going to send the runner from second. Okay. Well, pretty awful way to get a double play, but 
I mean, you're talking about someone that can you know, it, it happens. I just didn't realize what was happening soon enough. Tatis waits. Just missed. When you have a real athletic player and who's able to do the baseball mechanical things really well, look out because the sky's the limit on that potential. Throws to first, and they take care of Tatis for the out. The right fielder, number five, Will Meyer. Will Myers, the next up for the Padres. Kind of a throwback. No batting gloves. That hits the dirt, and that's ball one. One down, base is empty. Swing and a miss. And it's one and two. Swing and a miss, and he struck him out. Two away down. Two outs, base is empty. Next for the Padres, Eric Hosmer. Hosmer. And first offering is fouled off. Here comes a pitch. In the air to left center, a little bloop single, and that keeps the inning going. I'm amazed at his ability to pull his hands inside and actually square that baseball off. That pitch was off the plate. So tough to get the barrel to anything. In there. Nola stands in here, takes ball one low. That's to third. Sends it to first. Inning over. Okay, so we're through 4 2 1. Mariners with a big fourth inning, or top of the fourth inning. Still really confused at why that was a tag up. Welcome back. Ready now for the fifth inning. Down the third baseman, Ty France. I mean, at least to give yourself a chance. Like, France isn't the most powerful against right handers. But if he's leaving these curveballs kind of up. offering is in for a strike pretty impressive we haven't seen that pitch from him much but he's got a really good feel when he throws it he's a one two they tried to get him to chase on a slider down and away I cannot believe that that is a hit. Protecting that was awful. And putting the ball in play. Is that the Jack in the Box thing? The that absolutely is that Jack in the Box over there on the foul pole? Right, right there. Here's the catcher to hit, Ryan O'Keefe. And he swings and misses at the initial offering. Oh, he waves at that one. Two pretty nasty sliders to get this hitter in an 0-2 count. If you're up there at the plate, you got to look up in the zone and spin Ooh, the yikes. down. Next pitch is popped up. Cronenworth makes the catch, and there's one down. The batter, the second base. And now for Seattle, Adam, Adam Frazier. Ooh. In there for strike one. France, the base runner at first with one out. Swing and a pop up in foul ground. Racing makes the catch. Oh my God. Away. Evan White, the next the to hit. Number 12, Evan White. Swing and a pop up. Oh, God damn it. Oh, my God. Ooh. We head to the bottom of the fifth. Stepping in for San Diego. Jerks in profile. Here's a strike. The left fielder. Jerks Profile. 
The 0-2. And a rope into center field, base hit. So a man on base to start the inning. Up next to the Padres. No outs. Runner at first. Hitter. So here's the Padres DH. CJ Inahosa. What do you mean I'm not connected to the internet? Oh god damn it, internet, what are you doing? Oh, okay. And that one gets away at the plate. And no movement on the bases, it's ball one. Kicks and fires. That's in for a strike. Definitely not a pitch location you're expecting up there as a hitter when you know the guy's got a good sinker ball. If you can get possible that it's going to give me that like boy, lost connection thing. Bottom, that's going to make it very difficult to hit. Lifted in the air, right center field. Lewis gives chase, long run, makes the grab on the run. And there's one away. Everyday during batting practice, these outfielders get about 10 minutes of balls the in the gaps. They practice the this, and when the game comes, they make the play perfect. Ha Sung Kim, the next up for the Padres. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. That's a real nice cutter right there. I mean, this guy can struggle with the inside pitch. Ooh, time, come so on. It's pretty effective if you can continue to command it on that side of the plate. And he deals. In there at the knees for a strike. Good approach right there. You want to get something just a little higher that you can elevate. Stay out of that double play. Crawford. Off balance feet. There's one. Double play. Ooh, 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 ooh. What a twin killing day. They made it look easy. But we have hit into so many of those on my side. It is nice to get a tight one like that defensively. And they're out of this jam. Back here at the ballpark. Stepping in, J.P. Crawford. Leading off with Seattle. Musgrove back to work. Okay, Sean, you gotta stop. You gotta stop. Guessing on the first pitch, if he's gonna sell out to it, didn't make any contact though. Now fly ball to right center. Podorski moving Just pulls it down and he makes the catch. One away. And up next for Seattle, Kyle Lewis. One for one with a single so far. First offering misses the mark. The only adjustment he needs to make is his target. If you aim at the outside corner, that slider's going to end up way off the plate. Perhaps look a little more down the middle, and you get it right where you want it. Puts it in the air out towards left center. That was too high. Fuck, I had one good inning, and that's not what I want to deal with. I, I don't want the one good inning situation. I thought I was in a bit of a groove here. Stop it. Stop fucking swinging. It's just everything. Stop being frustrated. Just fix your approach a little bit. The 1-1. Ooh, one that one was a miss. Fuck. And a pitch. Way outside. Stays alive. Righty delivers. And another ball. And he walked him. How big a deal is that walk? I don't think it's a big deal because if you pitch to the previous hitter with the power he has, he can hit home run. I think it was a calculated walk. We'll see how it pays off here. Jake Fraley stands in with two away as he takes a ball. A base hit on the line. Runner around third on his way to the plate. He'll score easily. Jake Fraley making him pay with the walk. Let's go. Fraley with a ribby double. Not trying to do too much, but still looking to drive it, and that 
that's exactly what he's able to do into the opposite field gap for the double. And the Padres manager making his way towards the mound. As he will make Interesting. The They're going early into the bullpen. Two run ball game as he heads for the dugout and will be back with a new pitcher. I got to be smart here in this game. I got to make good decisions. Here's Johnson, right handed pitcher coming out. 18 games, 0 and 1 record, 8 holds. 14.2 innings pitch, a 10.43 ERA. Oh my goodness. Weirdly enough, though, like, batters were not hitting super well against him. It's a little surprising that he has a 10. Oh my god, I hit the button on accident. Uh, primary pitch, curveball, 97 mile an hour on the fastball, the four seam, and then the two seam is at 96. Wouldn't chase that time. I gotta be. Mm. Ah. That's a 3 0 count right there that I've made a 1 2 count. There we go. First legitimately good swing. Probably should be an even two and two right now. The curveball swings I'm okay with. Ooh. Ooh. Blew me away with the fastball right there. Those changes in speed really give me a lot of trouble. And the 420 XP can be really high. We were able to go first to home. A perfectly placed hit by uh, Jake Fraley there. So we're heading bottom six. We gave up the home run to Jake Cronenworth. Off a really bad, really, really bad. I think it was a circle change. This one lifted in the air, left field. That's a base hit. And that's that's a that's a second off speed pitch that's just disgusting. These guys definitely looking for a big swing of the bat right here. Try to close that gap, but you know, at the very least, if you can find a way to manufacture that run from first, it feels like it's really get there, get there, get there, get there, get there. Fuck off, god damn it, son of a fucking bitch! It wasn't that bad of a pitch. I hated that angle. One and two here. And that one off the outside edge. Yes, yeah, such a special player at a young age. He let the runner takes off. Up the middle. Nice grab. Oh, it pulled him off the base. I held on to it a split second too long. Ah, it all happened so fast. God damn it. What an unbelievable double play that was! Oh my god! What an incredible double play! Oh, whoever was over there, I think it was Evan White. Holy shit! Oh my gosh! Pitch. 
out the fires. All right, so we are up by two here, top seven. And it is two and one. This one high in the air to left center. Podorski makes the play, and there's one away. Too far under it. So what do Ryan we what do we want to do? We got Mariners. seven, eight, and nine. He popped out his first time. Oh, in there, and it's on one. I'm okay letting that one go, even if that one was just a strike. Let's do, uh... A second rider, Castillo Seawald. The pitch. Ball. Wow, that's a surprising ball right there. The three one flares it into the outfield, and that's That'll work. a base hit. So a man aboard now with one away. Hey, whatever works, right? Doesn't have to be impressive. He kind of muscled that one out there. Didn't get the barrel with it, but the important part was that he found a way to stay through the baseball and just drop it into center field. Runner on at first with one gone. And now for Seattle, Adam Frazier. Hit it well, but fly it out to the deepest part of the outfield his first time. Oh, no. To, third. to second, there's one double play. Oh, no. Super late on that curveball. Set for the last half of the seventh. And now the first baseman, Eric Haas, with a Padre. And a pitch. The first baseman. That one to first. That's a base hit. Off to a good start with a leadoff knock. I hate that hit so much. I fucking hate that hit so goddamn much. And here comes the Mariners manager to the mound. Uh, I tried to take advantage of the matchup there. Um, what a fucking absolute dog shit hit that was. Fucking dog shit hit. Fuck that noise. Steckenrider, he has 34 games on record. Uh, with a 6-3 and three record, 9 holds. 46 innings with a 2-9-3 ERA. 38-3 strikeouts to walks. Righty's batting a little bit better than lefties. Which is kind of surprising. But that is okay. Hopefully we can speed him up. We can throw a little bit higher in the zone as well. Um, with a primary four-seam fastball. Uh, dial in that curveball. Are you fucking kidding me? I mean, here goes the runner. Now this is in the air down the line. Fraley turns to the right on the move. And there's one down. Okay. Double play is in effect here. Now batting. Now batting Jurek's in pro far. Jurek's First pitch doesn't find the zone. You don't want to get beat by a fastball in. And he spits on that one. Next offering in the dirt. And that's ball two. Last two pitches have been down in the zone. Pitcher clearly trying to get that ground ball double play. But in this count, you're going to have to give in, elevate his pitches, and get back into this at bat. The tying run at the plate. And that one fouled off. Hosmer, the runner at first, with one gone in the inning. Ah, ah. That's not what I wanted. He's trying to stay back long enough to handle the off-speed pitch, but just a little tardy on the fastball. Fuck off. Foul ball, he stays alive. Wow, come on. 
come on. Also really good at bat. What I like about this guy, his bat stays in the zone for a long time. Gives him the ability to foul off tough pitches. And that one is lifted in the air. Lewis makes the catch. Out number two. Up next to the now the DH for the Padres. C.J. Inahosa. C.J. Inahosa. And first offering is fouled off. And the right-hander deals. Swing and a tapper that rolls foul. Two outs. Slice down the right side. Man, he'd like to have Both of those fastballs were disgusting. Tying run at the plate. Fucking goddamn it. Now he's desperately looking for that swing and miss. He's going to have to just change speeds a little bit, try to move it around. Now this ball is well hit. This one's got a chance. Fraley! Fraley and left. I would love to get some swings and misses out of maybe a double play. Fucking Christ. So the Padres for the new arm in the mound, Luis Garcia. Luis Garcia, much lower ERA in his 29 games at 1.96. 36.2 innings, so a bigger sample size as well. 26 to 16 strikeouts to walks. Righties batting better than lefties, but still neither... Neither side having a ton of success against him. Sinker goes to 100. Slider at 88. Splitter at 90. Four seam goes to 100. And he pumps it a strike. And a swing and a miss. And a pitch. Swings wow, disgusting. He threw 97 miles an hour and then just decreased the speed, and I could do nothing with it. And halfway to the plate, you know you've committed, and you know you're going to have no chance of touching it. Tell you what, sometimes you just have to tip your cap. Out to short. Oh, he was in the shadows. Lurking. Tosses to first. Two up, two down here at the top of the eighth. I genuinely did not see him, and then he then he moved. Kyle Lewis up next for the Mariners. And that's in there for strike one. Activity in the bullpen for San Diego. Tim Hill getting loose out there. Next pitch is downstairs. Next offering is downstairs. When you get to this part of the order, yeah, there's some pop there, but more likely there's some base hits. So very important to be patient. Let the pitcher walk you if he will. 2 1 pitch is in there, and the count is even. And a foul ball, he stays alive. Two two. Up the middle. That one sizzling on oh, his way through to the outfield. So he gets on base and keeps it going. Gotta love the resiliency he showed in that at bat, battling with two strikes. Just kept it simple. Played Pepper with the middle of the infield and took it back where it came from. And there's just no one there to knock it down. Over to first and he saved. And now Mitch Hanniger in there for strike one. God damn it. Lewis off of first with two away. Oh, that splitter. Swings through it. From a pitcher's Fuck. That's a beautiful splitter right there. As a hitter, you don't like it. But he's commanded his fastball, and out of that same tunnel, that splitter comes, and the bottom just falls out of it. And he'll two. Swing and a miss as he was out front that time. To first, and he beats it. Everyone's safe. Jake Freight up next for the Mariners. Jake. 
Oh my god. Stop it. No. Drifts towards it. And that's the inning. Really blew that opportunity right there. Oh. As the lead remains 3-1. Back here at Petco Park, bottom of the eighth. Here's leading up for the Padres, the third baseman. Back now, the pitcher on the mound as we roll into the bottom of the eighth. Diego Castillo. Diego Castillo. He's going to come on in. Oh, did I mention that we're playing for a Tops Series 1? I don't remember if I did. That's what we are playing for today. Okay, got to do that slider. Dial the slider and let's go. Damn it, that was such a good pitch. Just couldn't angle it where I wanted to. Next pitch inside. Two balls, no strikes. Fuck you. <laughs> to the right side. White takes it himself. Leadoff man is out here in the eighth. All right, bailed me out. Pretty awful. I just and that is ball one. That one pushed foul. The line to kick the pitch. And a count one and two. Left hand batter waits. Oh, come on, game. That is so frustrating. Everything about it was just perfect. Jake Freely making nice plays here in left field. Offering and it just misses. You're fucking kidding me. You asshole. That one down the line, and that's just foul. <laughs> Next off is down low. <laughs> it's, it's so close. It's so close to being amazing, and then it's just. Isn't? In the air, right side. Haniger should have this one. He's okay. got it. And that is out That'll take three. care of the eighth. That means we can bring Seawall to come busting through the door and hopefully pick up a victory here in game one against these San Diego Padres. It's even the Mariners surviving, uh, surviving an error as well. Craig Stammen. There are his stats. Righty's batting at 330, lefty's at 257. Park, all set to start the ninth in this one. And now the DH, Abraham Toro. Sinker at 94, knuckle at cut knuckle curve at 82, cutter at 91. Swings and fouls one off. The 0-1. 
Foul ball there. Do we see the sinker here? He's thrown two of the knuckle curves. The sinker would be a real speed up here. Down to the dirt swing and a well, that unfortunately will end Abraham Toro's hitting streak, which is fine. A waste of an opportunity too. It was three knuckle curves in a row. I hate this fucking pitch. I hate how fucking slow that fucking pitch is. Go, go, go. Skip it. Fucking move. Jesus Christ, even your games are slow, baseball. That one ripped. And a base hit. And that keeps the inning alive. Up next is the Adam Frazier. Up next for the Mariners. Adam Frazier. Next offering is down low. One and oh. Right handed reliever. And fouled off. I'd imagine pretty late. Oh, wow. How was that early? Ground ball right side. Oh, great stop. Oh, my God. It's oh, my there. God. That was not a hit. Are you fucking kidding me? Oh, my Jesus. Three. God in heaven. Andre. Fuck off. A new arm into the game. The right now, Paul Seawall. And he'll work on holding this lead. That's so irritating. Ugh, just enough of a reach, like the ball was not hit exceptionally hard. I thought that was going to be a hit, and he just, just grabbed it. And welcome back. Last chance for the home team. Here's the shortstop at the play. Fernando Tatis Jr. First pitch just misses. And a pop-up. Right side. Valtteri Get there, Evan White. Gold glove. The golden glove, baby. Now batting. The right fielder. Next will be the cleanup hitter, Will Myers. And he Ooh. swings and misses at the initial. They swing on that one. Comes up empty on the swing, 0 oh, 2 now. Only two now. Ball one there. Really good take, especially with two strikes. Swing and a miss, and he got him. Padres with only one out remaining. Well, we saw a solid effort out of their starter, and the bullpen is following now suit. It's just a good day no, as a manager or as a pitching coach, right. but you can hand the ball off to multiple Pause arms and get stability from all of their performances. Two outs, space is empty. So digging in now for San Diego, Eric Hosmer. That one. That was there not a one. great. The next pitch misses, and it's a ball to strike. Just one out away, try to close it out. That one drilled left field. Fraley. Fitting. Fitting that Fraley gets uh, the final out there. Had some big plays in left field throughout this game, and the Mariners come away with a 3-1 win. Wow. That is uh, surprising. And your final 3-1 for Chris Singleton and our entire crew. I'm John Chomby saying so long.
Fell behind 1-0 early in this one. Drove in a couple of runs. Fraley with a huge hit there. Fraley, the player of the game. Uh, I don't know if it'll give it to him, but he is my pick for player of the game. Some great defensive plays in key moments. And a, a good one. Good one here. It's a short two-game set here in San Diego. They are going to give it to Marco Gonzalez. Two, Fraley was two for four with a double, knocked in a run. Kyle Lewis, two for four, scored a run. Brian O'Keefe, two for four. Mitch Hanniger, one for three, knocked in and then scored uh, a run. So, Marco Gonzalez, your winner, your player of the game. Gave up the one home run to Jake Cronenworth, solo shot. I, I feel like I have a yawn. Okay, turns out I did. Six innings pitched, six hits, three strikeouts, no walks, one earned. Joe Musgrove with a loss. He pitched 5.2, pretty solid innings, gave up six hits, struck out three, one walk, and knocked uh, or allowed three earned on his line. Uh, Paul Seawald comes in and gets saved, number 26 on the season. And we've been getting uh, more frequent saves. We were We started the season... And he was toward the top of the, um, yeah, that makes sense. Toward the top of the leaderboards or the league, uh, the American league with saves. And then we just went on a tear where we were either losing games or we were winning by like good margins. So I didn't need to bring him in. Um, it was, it was weird. Uh, but lately we have been having him come in, get some saves and he's, uh, bumping that, bumping that save number up so that is game one against san diego we dropped them to 46 and 41 i believe and we are going to see you darvish who we saw actually we saw twice in the mariners preseason because he pitched for the cubs and then he pitched for the padres so we saw him i think back to back years uh 20 and 21 uh, and marco gonzalez will be on the bump tomorrow actually just kidding he pitch today it might be who the pitcher was supposed to be yesterday and i forget who that was mariners are 15 games over 500 feeling really good we're moving right through this chunk of the calendar where we had a ton of games in a row um we played a game every day since may 21st and we'll finally get a day off tomorrow Okay, I should review my travel experience for my flight to Australia that I don't have. Cool. Oh, it might actually be Austin. Might actually, that might be a genuine actual text message. Get a lot of spam crap that's like, oh, your account got charged $400. Please click on this link. And then I was like, oh, Australia. No, Austin. Where you are just in town from when this video posts. All right, let's crack open this pack of cards that we got to open because of the victory today. Mike Miner. There is our opening card today. Pitcher for Kansas City Royals. John Lester, pitcher for St. Louis. A lot of teams have uh, the powder blue, which looks nice. Oh, Devin Williams looking really good. These... Um, Milwaukee Brewer colors, the redesign, incredible. They're so good. So good. Vidal, Vidal Brujan? Is that, is that a D? Vial? No, it's a D. It's a capital D looks kind of like an O. Vidal Brujan, another baby blue, powder blue. There you go. David Price of the Los Angeles Dodgers. I forgot how much these cards slide around. Like, it's just... it uh, Stop. There's that. There's that. David Price of the Los Angeles Dodgers. They're tearing through... Uh, both in... both They're tearing through the league both in real life and in this game. Starling Marte. We saw a lot of him over the last couple of weeks.
playing seven games out of ten against the uh, these athletics. Or no. I'm sorry. It was six out of like 13 or something like that. Doesn't matter. Future stars. We did see a lot of them. Uh, Jazz Chisel Jr. Future stars card right here for the Miami Marlins. Sonny Gray pitching for the Reds. Oh my God. This might be the single most amazing card I think I've ever seen. This is incredible. Tony Kemp, terrific use of the card break style, the widescreen aspect. Amazing photo with a catch. Wow. That is, that is an amazing, amazing card. Wow. Uh, future stars. Hey, we don't see him in this game because he did not. Uh, I picked the, honestly, I picked probably the wrong roster, but I don't think it really mattered because he is actually not even on the team right now. He got optioned down to triple a again, just not doing super well. He's like the number one rated prospect. Just not doing super well. Slam Diego. Kind of uh, odd that those came up behind each other just because that's who's playing right now we're getting a lot of these break cards i like this a lot anthony bender i would have thought this was way cooler but then i saw that that tony kemp one and i'm just like i'm still in awe of it i'm just thinking about how cool it is freddie freeman he just recently returned to and this was a while ago but uh did just recently return to atlanta he now plays for the uh, los angeles dodgers they gave him his World Series ring, and uh, it was pretty emotional, I guess. I don't really know. Yadier Molina. He's a catcher, right? Do, do. Yes, catcher. He's the guy I'm thinking of. Incredible catcher. Incredible. He, like, told a dude to steal and then still got him out. He's like, you can steal and then threw him out. Terrific breakdown on uh, John Boy Media, so go check that out. If you'd like to check out more baseball, stay right here. We are going to be playing game two of this short series against the Dodgers, or the Dodgers, the Padres. I saw the D. I saw the D, and I thought, Dodgers. San Diego, the Padres. Uh, this one... That game coming up tomorrow right here on the channel, 7 p.m. Pacific time. So be sure to scroll down, subscribe, ring that bell. That way you're notified when I post brand new videos. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed today's game. I know I had a good one because we got a win, 3-1. to one. A lot of four runs or fewer victories happening lately. We had a whole week of them, a whole slew of them throughout the week. And then we got a one yesterday. There actually weren't as many as I thought. Weird. Okay, never mind. We're still improving, though, with that. Coming up with some clutch pitching, some great uh, some great outfield plays by uh, Jake Fraley. Immaculate double play on first base to get us out of a, a potential dangerous situation. I think there was runners on first and third when that happened. Uh, good stuff happening, though. We'll be back tomorrow. Thank you so much for watching. Happy 4th of July. Go safely light off some fireworks or whatever. I don't know. Celebrate this place. I suppose. Uh, thanks for watching and we'll see you tomorrow. Good sports. Go Mariners.